however strong you may think you are, you are actually much stronger. And you can do anything you put your mind to. Hey baddie, welcome to the Baddest You Podcast, where every listen takes you to the baddest version of yourself. I am your baddie level up coach, Ambria Harty, and in today's episode, I'm teaching you how to get your life back on track after going through a tough period in your life. Follow me on my Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube at Ambria Harty, and let's get into this week's episode. We've all been there. It's getting harder to do our daily routine, our motivation has left the chat, we start skipping days at the gym and waking up up later. Soon our entire sleeping schedule is thrown off because we're scrolling through TikTok all night, followed by eating constant takeout and junk food. And what was once a disciplined and motivated baddie is now a saddie in a slump. Now there's no judgment if you are in a slump. Look, there's so many reasons why you could be in one. Your mental health could be struggling. You're experiencing tough circumstances in life. Your body's rejecting the new routine, even if you've made some progress or you straight up don't feel like it. Well, don't fret because it's okay and it happens to every single one of us. We're not implementing new healthy habits and new routines to be better than everybody else. You're still worthy regardless of if you're productive, happy, sad, lazy, tired, energized. Look, you're still a baddie regardless. We simply do these things to feel better and to take better care of ourselves because we deserve better. We deserve to eat nourishing foods and feel well rested when we wake up in the morning. We deserve for our bodies to work long term and we deserve to have good mental health. And we get these things by taking care of ourselves. So the very things that we could be avoiding when we are in a slump are the very things that we need to do to get out of the slump in the first place. So there are a couple of things that happen to our mindset when we are in these moments. We tend to focus on bad things, what's going wrong in our life. We tend to be in a state of lack when it comes to believing in ourselves. We feel guilty. We feel low self-worth from not accomplishing much. But these thoughts can easily be combated along with all of the actions brought up within a slump. That can be done by altering your habits, your mindset, and your daily routine. Your habits form your life. The repetition of certain actions creates the foundation of the life you live and the person that you become. Actions have consequences, both good and bad. And by altering certain actions that we partake in, we alter the consequences we experience in our life. It's all about being aware of how our actions affect us. A habit is more of a passive action that we partake in consistently that heavily affects us. For example, a habit such as waking up early makes us feel organized and in charge of our day, giving us time to take care of ourselves, uh, time for ourselves in the morning. We may have time for a workout, a morning walk. And this habit consistently makes us feel balanced and at peace. However, the opposite is also true. Choosing to wake up later or right before work or school can have us starting our day feeling in a fight or flight mode, rushing to get ready, no time for breakfast or workout, no time for ourselves, or worse, waking up but first spending all your day consuming social media, over focusing on other people's lives, which can lead to comparison. And you may start off your day feeling anxious by consuming so much information without grounding yourself first. There's so much importance behind living an intentional lifestyle, being intentional with what we focus our energy on, the mindsets we are choosing, and most importantly, the habits that we choose to partake in. It's important to reevaluate if the habits that you are doing are adding to you or taking from you. Many people live their lives focused on what feels good in the moment, like staying up late, taking that sip of alcohol, skipping homework, sleeping in or avoiding the gym for that day. However, it would truly benefit us doing habits that may feel uncomfortable now, but are better for us in the long term. I may not want to eat this healthy meal, but in the future, I will thank myself for it. I may not want to stop scrolling on TikTok right now and go to sleep, but in the future, I will thank myself for it. I may not want to complete this workout, but in the future, I will thank myself for it. As you are living life, be mindful of how your actions are affecting you and see if you can replace them with better ones. When in a slump, feeling low energy, feeling tired, feeling disappointed in yourself, we may purposely partake in habits that may feel good to us in the moment as a means of escaping these negative emotions. However, they actually do a disservice to us long term. We may be tempted to drink lots of alcohol on a weeknight, but this can lead to feeling hungover in the morning, starting our day feeling unmotivated and sick which can lead to sleeping in and then no workout, which leads to us ordering takeout because we have no energy to cook, us calling out of work, us avoiding our tasks for the day, leads to us wasting a day away, getting no work done, making no money, and can contribute to more feelings of disappointment. So what do you do? Drink again the next evening. It's a cycle. Being in a slump is a vicious cycle of non-productive habits that keeps us stuck in a loop of negativity. Now we find ourselves genuinely believing that we can't accomplish our goals, we'll be stuck in this loop forever, and we'll never amount to anything. 
What a lie. At any point in time, you can be a new person. You can take a different action. You can make a new choice. You always have a choice. You can stay stuck or you can change just one habit, just one, to live a more productive and fulfilling lifestyle. Make that choice to cook a homemade meal. Make that choice to save your money. Make that choice to stay in and journal. Make that choice to wake up early. Make that choice to go to the gym. Commit to healthier habits and watch a new you be birthed. A healthier, confident, fulfilled you. Our mindset is end all be all of the life that we choose to experience. Simply altering your thoughts can positively influence your perception of yourself and your day. See, when we're in a slump, we tend to think negatively about ourselves, feeling sorry for ourselves, feeling a sense of guilt or disappointment in our lifestyle. But what if we were to show compassion towards ourselves instead? What if we took an understanding approach and understood that even this moment in time serves a purpose, that we hold so much innate value, that even in this moment when we are feeling so negatively, we still hold value and have so much potential? What if we understand Understood we simply may need a break and instead of continuing down a path of self-sabotaging behavior we actively took care of ourselves and our health instead instead of drinking tons of alcohol we could journal and do a crying session instead of avoiding all of the work we may need to do we can reward ourselves afterwards or habit stack by doing something we enjoy at the same time instead of skipping the gym we go but just walk on the treadmill for the day it is completely okay to feel off but by utilizing our mindsets to seek out how to better take care of ourselves during these times we could be solution oriented instead and prevent or work our way out of a rut instead of getting deeper into a hole of self-sabotage. You are so valuable and it is okay to not be okay. See, we weren't designed to always be productive and our worth isn't based on how productive we are. We have innate value and worth. Whatever it is we're going through is merely temporary. The best is yet to come, even in our lowest points. It's all a part of our grand story. Even the people we look up to the most experience tough moments just like this one. All you have to do is get up and keep moving forward. Self-belief is something we must cultivate from within. We can literally do anything we set our minds to and be anyone we want to be. We are not stuck. We are not limited. We simply need to make the decision to move in that direction. Tough times never last, but they do hold so much value because it is strengthening us and pushing us to become the people we were meant to be. It will be hard sometimes in life, but when all else fails, you should never give up on yourself. Even when you feel like you can't do it, you absolutely still can. It takes you getting up and doing it to prove yourself wrong. Yes, even this moment in front of you is a part of the process. And the sooner you get back up and take yourself to the next level, the sooner you'll advance past this time. It's all about getting back up. It's truly mind over matter. You can because you said you will. It's not about what you've done up until this point. It's about what you choose to do next. How would a winner move forward? I always say it's not about what's in front of you, it's about how you choose to move forward. You have to face yourself and come to terms that the only way to get better is to try to get better, is to be better. That indeed, no one is coming to save you. Now, I do believe in the power of prayer and manifestation, but it's about believing you can actually move past this time as well. Because you can. You were happy before and you can be happy again. You were productive before and you can be productive again. You reached your goals before and you can reach your goals again. You can accomplish anything you put your mind to and whatever the reason is, you may be doubting yourself, feeling lost, feeling unmotivated, your potential is more powerful than that reason. You are valid in how you feel, but you must believe in yourself. And the first step to getting anything that you want is believing you can have it. Someone as bad as you, as amazing as you, as worthy, of course you'll succeed. You want better? Be better. The easiest way to get out of a rut is by implementing a daily routine. Creating a routine that is beneficial to your mind, body, spirit, long-term goals. When you first wake up, having a morning routine that caters to some form of grounding or self-care is beneficial. Whether it be a morning meditation, a yoga, a daily walk, affirmations. Next, getting in some form of physical exercise while listening to self-development content is a great way to take care of the body. I personally enjoy going to the gym while listening to content on YouTube. You, of course, could tune in to an episode of the Baddest You podcast. Taking some time to eat a healthy breakfast and then invest in your physical appearance, whether it be skincare, hair care, makeup, and afterwards focusing on some responsibilities for the day, whether it be going to work or class, working on your business or tending to your children, for our babies or creating your content or art, whatever it may be, make sure it is in alignment with the long-term goals that you have set out for yourself to ensure we are building towards our vision board. You may end your workday, shower, decompress, relax, eat a balanced dinner, read, take some time for yourself to ensure you're ending the day feeling grounded and in your power. It is so important to be intentional with the day you choose to lead. This sets the tone for how you feel and your closeness towards your goals. All you have to do is hold yourself accountable to do the next thing on the list. 
My life has severely changed when I just take three months being consistent towards a daily routine. The mindset I have is when it is this specific time, it's time for me to do X, Y, Z. And I also have a million alarms that I set throughout the day to ensure I'm moving to the next task in my routine and a good timing. Keeping a routine keeps you feeling organized, balanced, and in control of your life. No need to worry about whether you're doing a good job if you're completing your daily routine. That in and of itself is an accomplishment. And you may reward yourself based on how you spend your evening or weekend. My dad always had this motto growing up, work hard, play hard. As humans, we require some form of structure. As kids, it was the school day, then classes and university, a work schedule, as you become adults and so on. Be sure you have your own schedule, especially one that caters towards your well-being and self-care practices, as well as your long-term goals. The absence of a routine can often lead to feelings of stress, feeling overwhelmed. However, having a routine can simplify your life and keep us focused on healthy lifestyle habits that better our emotional and mental well-being. What was once sleeping in, eating poorly, feeling bad mentally, is now working on your business, getting your daily walk, and feeling mentally uplifted and empowered. We are very in control of our lives, even in the moments where we feel the least in control. It really takes us making the decision to move forward, deciding to implement better habits, focus on mindsets that serve us, and take an action towards a routine which betters our lives. The secret to getting out of a rut is to really least feeling unmotivated, stuck, and overall bad about our lives, thinking better thoughts, focusing on the present moment, and understanding that this time is indeed serving us, that the power that we feel like we lost is very much in our own hands. Be honest with yourself and ask yourself, what could you do to change your habits and mindset to create a better lifestyle? Maybe it's quitting vaping. Maybe it's seeing a therapist. Maybe it's listening to more positive music, choosing to release victim mindsets about your situation. No matter what it is, no matter how you feel, you are still in charge. It's not about your circumstances, it's about what you choose to do next. You're choosing habits that benefit your life. You are working out, waking up early, staying sober, drinking your water, taking better care of yourself. You're choosing mindsets that benefit you. You're focusing on giving yourself all that you may have wanted others to give to you. You are understanding. You are exactly where you were supposed to be. You know that the best is yet to come and you are focusing on healthy routines and being consistent and showing up for yourself every day because you know you deserve the best life possible. Remember that you are better than your circumstances. And the key is to stop giving your personal power up to them and recognize the power within yourself. Take the time you may need to rest, cry, release, but you owe it to yourself to get back up, to take care of yourself, and to move forward. However strong you may think you are, you are actually much stronger. And you can do anything you put your mind to. You are not stuck. You are not behind. You are right on time. Take your power back and remember who you are. Remember when you overcame the worst and are still here today? Yeah, it's time to get up because you have an entire dream life that is very much available for you and waiting for you, and it's time to create it. Your dreams are waiting for you. You are the most powerful person in your reality. Act like it. You are being guided. You are being provided for. You are being protected and taken care of in this moment. Trust that God, Spirit, the universe, the divine has your back. Future you is smiling down on you in this present moment. Think about how you got up, how you accomplished every single thing you set out to do. Keep going, baddie. You owe it to yourself to succeed. Thank you so much for listening to this week's episode and contributing to your ultimate baddie level up. I'm your host, Ambria Harty. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube at Ambria Harty. And I will see you on next week's episode of The Baddest You. Bye, baddie.